Don't let the nakedness freak you out now. All right, John, let's see what this is. <laughs> right. But the, the electronic subtle elements of this and his monotone voice, it was a very popular song. And the video, of course, probably made it more popular. But I'm very curious, Todd, and John, since you're a heavy metal guy, just to see, because we were just we just saw watch Pink Floyd and they piece they piece their stuff together so well. This this kind of has a very similar thing where it, it does it. It's kind of ahead of its time actually, but let me see if I'm right or wrong. So that's sweet harmony. Let's go. <laughs>
Now my question is obviously not about the video. That's pretty self-apparent. My question is about the production aspects of it. I know it's repetitive, but does it have something? I don't know. I was thinking about that Beatles song, Come Together. Okay. And I didn't know if it was just kind of a... Oh, it's the same word. Different... It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, a different version of that, you know? Yeah. But yeah, the video, the video part was interesting. What what was the song? What song? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. But I just was curious, since it was early 90s, it was unique from just having a production-based song like that. Is it, I, does it resonate, anything? I mean, like, production-wise, you have much better music from Savage Garden, Darren Hayes. Later on, you would, yeah, later on. But that's still 90s. Even for the 80s, there's much better. True, true. Production, so I, it, for it, me, <clears throat> production-wise, not much resonating for me. It was going dun, 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 dun. It had that bell part, that was very 90s. It was... I, I don't remember. Maybe I'm way off. I don't know. The, the song really didn't do much for me. I just being honest, I, it it was forgetful for me. It's an it's it's like one arpeggio that's just going on. Yeah. But there's not much layering or any texture or any color really, and the lyrics are just not much going on. And the video is super weird. I, it sounds like I'm really dogging on it. It's a decent song. It's just it's not really like saying much for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was di it was different in that way, but remember, in the context of the time, I thought it, it was the fact that that was a song mm -hmm. was interesting because it was basically an electronic riff. Like I said, the arpeggio kind of a mm -hmm. repetitive thing. Normally, it would not be a song; it would be like a segment of a song. Yeah, I, it was a memorable. Like I'm too sexy for my shirt. <laughs> Very memorable. Yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? That's memorable? Well, right heck, set yeah. Fred. Yeah, right set for That's very memorable. This could be, if I heard another song similar to it, I'd forget this one. I, yeah, okay. You uh, know, I, I'm sorry, but yeah, that's I, just kind I, of my thing. Well, well, what do you like about it? He was resyncing very monotone, mm -hmm. and it was the same thing over and over again. I guess for me, is I felt like he was like trying to seduce me by the way he's singing and he's like sitting there oh. naked oh that's just creepy then it's just weird like yeah. the way he's like oh no i didn't so, like... no like the way he's like kind of wispy and like really seductive i get that you know what i'm saying I, yeah i get that too because i was like this dude is singing to get women <laughs> or whatever i mean i would assume women because he's just surrounded by women yeah but yeah it's kind of like the whole seduction and, thing. And, I get and it. that kind of like kind of takes me out of it for okay. real okay. and uh i'm trying to not be biased by that but not my intention. It, 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 it is there. Well, it wasn't your intention. No, I, I it was could be his, but I'm not. Hey, no fault. Be you. Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I guess that's. I've seen it before, so I was. I was trying to get more. Like maybe this would be better to just listen to the song and not the video. Maybe. I thought it was unique. I guess I'm wrong. I thought it had a unique part that maybe songs were built. Well, production-wise, still, I feel like in the '90s. Even in the 80s, there's a lot more interesting production techniques going on. In the 80s, there's crazy stuff. If this is early 90s, yeah, that's that still kind of bland. Well, answer this question. Since it was popular, why do you think that was? If it was popular, I think the, the hook is kind of catchy. Yeah. It seems like some... Like, I've heard some Happy Monday stuff that's very repetitive. And it seems like it was trippy and popular. And I guess this was missing that. I'll do my best to edit something coherent about this song. Am I making so, some sense? I well, it, it sounds like a full song to me. It's just <clears throat> nothing special about it. You know what I mean? Just really bland. Yeah, but well, I mean, there's other motivations too. It could be that the record company says, hey, we, we need another song or we need you to make this type of song. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this artist is about, but there are some True. groups that absolutely hated it. For example, Warrant. Cherry Pie. Cherry Pie. They freaking hate that song. They yeah. don't want to perform, but so, you know, I mean, it could be one of those things. I don't know. Okay. All right. Is it's it like, I, even if a song is popular, mm -hmm. to me, this is just my, probably a hot take, but to me, okay. it just doesn't make it good. And I wonder if it's beloved. Do you say beloved or beloved? I guess it depends on where you're it's from. the worst episode it. ever. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> 
Thank you for joining us today on the show. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yeah, of course. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.